Hello, I'm Rashi Goel and I'm legal intern at Lexis & Company. I hope all of you are doing great and staying safe and healthy. So in today's video, I'll be talking about copyright infringement. Copyright infringement refers to the unauthorized use of someone's copyrighted work. Thus, it is the use of someone's copyrighted work without permission, thereby infringing certain rights of the copyright holder such as right to reproduce, right to distribute, right to display or perform the protected work. Also, Section 51 of the Copyright Act specifies when a copyright is infringed. Also, there are certain grounds when copyright is deemed to be considered infringed. First is a person without obtaining the permission of copyright holder does any act which is only the copyright holder is authorized to do. Second ground is if a person permits the place to be used for communication, selling, distribution or exhibiting of an infringing work unless he was not aware or had a reason to believe that such permission will result in violation of copyright. Third ground is if a person imports infringing work. And fourth is if a person without obtaining the authority from the copyright holder reproduces his work in any other form. Let's understand with an example. Suppose if a person uses someone's song as a background music in his or her music video, then he could be liable for the copyright infringement. Or if a person downloads a movie or a song from an unauthorized portal or source, then it will amount to copyright infringement. Further, there are two types of copyright infringement, primary infringement and secondary infringement. Primary infringement refers to the real act of copying, the work of copyright holder. For example, photocopying a book and then distributing it for commercial purposes. However, sometimes a person may only copy a part of the work. For example, a paragraph of an article. In such a case, copyright holder is required to establish two things. First is substantial taking. A copyright is infringed only when an authorized, unauthorized person copies a substantial or important part of the work. For example, copying a catchy phrase of lyricist. Second is a casual connection. The copyright holder must prove that there is a similarity between the work of the copyright holder and the infringer. However, this may be done because of the several other reasons like both of them have used the same name or the same source for the research. In such a case, the copyright holder cannot, cannot claim for the infringement. So, the next type of copyright infringement is secondary infringement. Secondary infringement refers to the infringement of copyright work without actually copying it. This can happen in certain ways. First, by providing a place for copyright infringement. Second is by selling infringing copies. Third, by distributing infringing copies. And fourth is by importing infringing copies. Now further, let's talk about the remedies which are available for the infringement of copyright. So uh, there are two types of remedy available in the Copyright Act 1957, Civil Remedy and Criminal Remedy. First is Civil Remedy. As per Section 55 Clause 1 of the Act, the owner of the copyright will be entitled to an injunction, damages and accounts in case of copyright infringement. However, if the defendant proves in the court that he was not at the date of such infringement aware and has no reason to believe that copyright exists in the work, the owner will only be entitled to an injunction. And in case someone reproduces an original cinemograph film without the authorization of the producer, then the producer can approach the court to restrain the use of his work and receives damages. Now another remedy is criminal remedy. The owner of the copyright along with the civil suit can also institute a criminal proceeding against the copyright infringer. According to section 63 of the act, 
any person who infringes someone else someone else copyright uh, shall be punished with the imprisonment of term which may not less than 6 months but can be extended to 3 years and fine which shall not be less than 50000 but can be extended to 2 lakhs thank you everyone for watching my video i hope you guys liked it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family and don't forget to let me know your feedback in the comment section stay home stay safe stay healthy